Hey there guys, it frames Vanguard here, and welcome to this uh, next episode of Let's Play SpongeBob SquarePants Revenge of the Flying Dutchman. So, uh, to get started, we'll just go ahead and uh, visit Mr. Krabs in the kitchen in here. See what he has to say. Jeepers, Mr. Krabs, why do you think our business is so slow? No one seems interested in going out anymore. They think it's too much trouble to leave home. Too bad we can't move the Krusty Krab into their homes. SpongeBob! That's it! We'll do just that! Yeah! What is that? Oh, you want to move the Krusty Krab? Should I get a hammer? Never mind that. I'm going downtown to set things up. You take this bus ticket and meet me there as soon as you can. Well, since that's all I think we have to do uh, to be able to get to the next area, I think I probably should just done that at the end of the last episode, but oh well. So, now that we've got that bus ticket, we have to meet uh, Mr. Krabs in downtown. And that's where we'll be going in a little bit. Right now, uh, we'll sit through another loading screen. Hopefully this one won't take too long. I really did forget how long the loading screens were when I was a kid. Because even I, it's weird, even though I was in really impatient as a kid. I didn't mind loading screens usually. But now that I'm older, I seem to have more patience generally, but I have a much lower tolerance for loading screens. Maybe it's just because I have a whole lot less free time than back then. So yeah, this is the bench that'll take us to downtown, and if we hop on there, we'll get on a bus and uh, head on that way. But that's not what we're going to do right now. Right now, there's some jellyfish I need to catch. So I'll show you the ones that I run into. Hold on real quick. We're still missing a couple coins. Wonder where they could be. But uh, I'll show you any remaining jellyfish that we catch. Cause you, you, even if you collect enough to uh, get the token for the area, you do generally have a purpose to collect a bit more than that. Aside from just completionist sake, which you'll see quite a fair bit later. Oh, I could have broken these, couldn't I? Buy? Well, we'll find that out later. Gotcha. Grab that one, and then we'll grab this one, and I believe that should be all the jellyfish in uh, Bikini Bottom. No, there's still some more... I guess I'll figure that out later. Maybe there's another section that's just not open it, like over that way towards Sandy's Tree Dome. We'll see. Oh, what is this? Squidward, what are you doing? Hey Squidward, what's with all the stuff on your lawn? A squid has to pay his rent somehow, so I'm having a little yard sale to make a few extra sand dollars. Now leave me alone so I can read my book. What you reading? It's called How to Defeat Evil Spirit, okay? Now please, let me read. How to Defeat Evil Spirits? That's just what I need! Can I please borrow your book, Squidward? <sighs> you can borrow my book after I'm done with it, okay? So look through my yard sale or whatever, but stop asking about my book. So now we have another goal. Obviously, to borrow Squidward's book. Hey, Squidward, this big acorn sure is making a weird buzzing noise. Acorn? You mean that hive I got from my cousin on the coast? No, I mean this big buzzing acorn in the glass case. I bet Sandy would really like this. Oh, yeah, I bet your little squirrel friend would really like that acorn. Why don't you buy it for her? Name your price, yard merchant. I'll sell it to you for 200 sand dollars. <laughs> Start saving your tip money. <laughs> so, uh, that's a bit of foreshadowing of what we'll have to do in a bit later. But, uh, I was wondering if, uh, those sand dollars, which apparently is the bikini bottom currency, if, uh, they would have the case of uh, being an individual dollar being near worthless like uh, how almost all Japanese made games are because the yen, a single yen is relatively worthless. 
but nah. Considering Squidward was laughing when he said 200, it seems like this is actually based on American ratios. Like 2002 American inflation rates at like that, so $200 would be quite a bit. But, uh, since I don't know where that last uh, few jellyfish and uh, coins are, I'm just going to ignore them for now. I'll find them later. But, with that, we'll be heading right on along to downtown. So this is downtown Bikini Bottom. How will I ever find Mr. Krabs in such a huge place where the streets never end and the buildings just go on and on and on? Yoo-hoo! SpongeBob, over here! Well, that's pretty convenient if Mr. Krabs would set up a shop right up by uh, the bus stop. As you can see, in downtown, for some reason it becomes night. And it'll become daytime when you go back to Bikini Bottom, I'm pretty sure. But it's night uh, down here. And apparently at night in Bikini Bottom is dangerous because there's greasers roaming, around, roaming about that are out to get Spongebob. You can karate chop in midair, but it breaks your momentum, so it's not really all that worthwhile. Gotcha. Take that. Is that a snail? Yeah, it looks like... Oh, it must be like a... Supposed to be like a rabbit's... Not rabbit, but feral snail. Even though I'm pretty sure feral cats aren't in cities. Maybe stray dogs are, but cats... Not really. Uh, somehow I defeated that guy in two hits. I'm not quite sure how. But I should stop going down through... Oh, gosh. I should stop going down through these back alleys and uh, head on over to Mr. Krabs. I say as I hop onto a rooftop to collect a whole lot of money. Well. Nah, that one's just gonna bother me if I ignore it. I should probably be more careful because I think I'm only down in two hits left. Technically, I only have one spare hit. So yeah, I need to be careful about what I do. Also, take note of uh, those symbols and the numbers. They'll become important very shortly. Also, something I just noticed, the background music when you're in normal Spongebob clothes uh, does change for each area. So that's a... I guess that cuts down on the repetition a little bit. Because for most of the game, you are expected to be in Spongebob's normal out attire, because aside from the Karate Chop being able to break things, he can also uh, pick stuff up, which is going to be very, very necessary right here. Glad you finally made it, lad. Between you and me and this here cart, there's no stopping us now. Just what exactly is your plan, Mr. Krabs? It's just like you said, SpongeBob. If no one wants to leave home, then we bring the Krusty Krab to them. I'm talking about food delivery. I'll put out a bag filled with patties whenever enough orders come in. You need to grab the bag and get to all our customers before it's too late. There might even be some tip money in it for you. This sounds like fun, Mr. Krabs. Great. This delivery is to a single location, 17 Seashell Street. Go to Seashell Street, then look for the 17 on the building, then drop off the food at the door. Our food is very popular, so watch out for rough characters who might try to take it from you. Now go to it, lad! So just like that, Mr. Krabs will drop off a thing of food and it'll tell us there uh, the location we need to go. And of course when he was talking about rough characters, he was talking about the big greasers over here. No, they don't chase you if you have food, they just kinda get in the way, so avoid them. Also, of course, if you get stung by a jellyfish, you'll drop it in half. I don't know if uh, you'll have to start all over, or if you just need to pick up the food. I almost just found out right there, because I was not paying attention. But this uh, signpost that'll let you know which street that is, that's something storm. This is Albatross Avenue, I think, if I remember correctly. Because when I was a kid, I didn't know what an albatross was. And, uh, of course, this is Seashell Street, so we'll get going along, and we go to 17. If you go to the wrong door, it doesn't do anything. So we'll just hop along. No. I'm not gonna- no, I'm not gonna explore while, uh, I have the food. 
Oh, there's some pants. There we go. Keep on hopping along. Oh, there's a tent down here. So there's 17. So we completed the delivery and we got a tip of five dollars. So now we go back to Mr. Krabs. Oh, what I said earlier about the music resetting? Never mind. It's still the standard music. I just realized it. I guess um, I just didn't hear it loop before, or I wasn't, I didn't recognize the loop. There's a newsstand right there, and there's a letter up there. Don't attack me, snail. So we high jump up here, have to jump to get these coins, and then come over here and for an S. And I think we can collect some of these coins, yeah, from right there. Flap our arms to get over here. I guess SpongeBob flapping his arms to stay of to stay in the air, quote unquote air, a bit longer makes sense because this is underwater. And, uh, doing that would slow your descent a little bit. Unlike a normal air where it, it wouldn't make a lick of difference. One thing I do remember not liking about this level, uh, in terms of the doubloons was how they'd uh, rise and fall out of every single one of those spots, and you'd, uh, just have to wait around for them to come up. Not that bad of an issue, but just something I remember. Because like I said, when I was a kid, I was impatient, except for loading screens. I didn't mean to collect the, that pants, but oh well. Oh. Grab those real quick. And we got an S in our first S and our last B. Oh, that's just a sign for Good Lagoon. I was wondering what it was. Obviously, you can fight the uh, greasers if you want to have an easier time delivering this stuff, but... Uh, generally, since, like, Ed and Eddie, Ed, Ed and Eddie is kind of difficult to stunlock an enemy. It's certainly possible, but it's just kind of difficult to do it. And, uh, m most likely we'll just be taking a lot of damage. I'm ready for the next delivery, Mr. Krabs. This delivery is a little trickier. There's a building under construction nearby, and it's full of very hungry workers. Oh, so now we go meet Mr. Krabs at the construction site. This, um... Uh, downtown part of Bikini Bottom, it is divided into separate sections, and uh, because Mr. Krabs, just, Mr. Krabs just went to the construction site earlier, you might notice that this was gated up. Now it is not. So we'll go on through there. And here we are. Mr. Krabs apparently has another cart set up over there. Collect some more coins. There is way more than 100 uh, doubloons in this uh, level. So we'll see what Mr. Krabs... Mm, should we explore? We'll kind of be exploring the anyways. The workers who place the order. Some of the other workers might try to take the food from you. Order up! So we've got to deliver food to the construction foreman. Now, uh, how do you know which workers are which? Well, if you come over to these big blue ones that are lobsters, they'll do that, and uh, you'll drop the food. They won't attack you. Oh, never mind. They will attack you. But if you... Oh, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Halt, villain! Don't try to get away. For I am Barnacle Boy, Super Sidekick. You really had me going there for a minute, Patrick. Where did you get that great costume? I mailed in 450 kelp bar wrappers and got both official costumes from the Mermaid Man show. Oh, you got... Both costumes? Oh, can I be Mermaid Man? Oh, please, oh, please, oh, please. Oh, gee, I'd really like to, but I've been so hungry since I ran out of kelp bars. If only I had something yummy to eat. So I think you know what we're supposed to do right there. When it says deliver food to Patrick, gee, I wonder what food we could deliver to him. And those guys will just stand there. If you wait too long, I'm pretty sure they'll hit you. Yeah, they'll just stare you in the face if you hit them. Oh my gosh, I killed the poor man. I guess he would push you back, 
push you back from the jackhammer because it is kind of dangerous to just be standing on top of one. So we'll get to that in a second. Deliver this to Patrick and I'm saved. Now we can play Mermaid Man for as long as we want. I put your costume in that tent over there, SpongeBob. Watch out, evil! Here we come! So obviously now we have the Mermaid Man costume. We'll change into that while we explore around, because I'll show you the difference, how you tell the difference between uh, the, uh, oh gosh. We press B to throw a water ball, and uh, that'll be a, a ranged attack in this game. Pretty decent range too. So uh, that'll actually be really useful for clearing out some of the streets down here. What was the same before? Oh yeah, I'll show you the difference between um, the workers that'll hurt you and the ones uh, that are there to take your food. That you're supposed to deliver the food to. Alright, does this man over here look like a threatening guy? Does he? No? Well then, that's why you'll give him the food, even though he's smoking a pipe for some reason. Oh gosh, decent quickly! You can't jump right away when you land on these. Oh, never mind, you can't. I just suck. Can I, uh, get back? Yeah. I remember loving the music of for when you have the... Uh, that was close. For when you have the Mermaid Man costume on. on. Generally, um... Uh, generally, uh, whenever I explore an air area in this game, I will be, uh the Mermaid Man costume, at least on my own free time. We'll see uh, how I do it for this. But in my own free time, whenever I do it, I would be Merm in the Mermaid Man costume. First of all, just because it's a pretty nice look on SpongeBob. Second, range attacks. And third, that music. Also, his glide attack, appropriately enough, is just flying. So we gotta get through this drill section right here. Come up here. And, uh, there's that another worker. I don't think it matters what order you deliver them in. You just have to deliver. Um, ah! You just have to deliver in order to both of them. Preferably, I'll avoid that pit some more because every time it seems to be giving me a near heart attack. Can we actually pick up a delivery uh, as as this? Oh no, you can. We'll see. For. S that might have reset the music, either that or it was just a perfectly timed, or the loop was just perfectly timed for when I picked that up. We'll see in a second. Deliver it to this man, and he gave us a tip of $10 that time. Pretty generous, I must say. I don't know how often it would be used, but I would imagine some quote-unquote higher in fast food services probably could get away with delivery like chick-fil-a I know chick-fil-a isn't in all areas of the country and if you haven't had it before I feel very bad for you but chick-fil-a everyone loves uh, chick their chicken sandwiches me included and they do um, they do usually have them in like little bags like that and that's what this reminds me of but I do wish Chick-fil-A would deliver sometimes just because I'm too lazy to go to the other side of town. I mean, like, it's a whole 10-minute drive away. But generally, the only way you can get them quote-unquote delivered is if you have them made in bulk. And that would be like 50 chicken sandwiches. Which, to be fair, doesn't sound too bad. Uh, I changed into the fishing gear costume real quick. First of all, to nap some of these jellyfish while I'm over here. And second, I want to see if you can actually pick up items uh, as SpongeBob, because Mermaid Man can, the normal SpongeBob can, but I, I'm i not too sure if um, the fishing gear SpongeBob can. Can he? Yeah, he just puts it in the net. Never mind, so you don't have to be normal SpongeBob to deliver any of these. Let's just nab you. I said nab you. I said nab you. There we go. So we'll change back into our normal gear after I get this jellyfish over here because it's tempting me. There we go. And I think that's all for this uh, 
small little uh, circle here. I pressed the wrong button so nothing happened. There we go. So obviously it says we have to move something heavy onto the pressure plate. Doesn't mean, uh... Oh, no. Those are like, um... I, I forget what they're called. Pistons. I think that's what they're called. Uh, but we toss the rocks into uh, that little circle right there and we'll raise those up. And if we do all four, we should have a way to get up there. Looks like it. Didn't expect that wrecking ball to be there. Oh, gosh, gosh. Take two. It looks like I almost got up there for a second, just from a basic jump. All right, jump before that wrecking ball comes back. And we'll grab the O this time around. We'll grab some of the coins while we're here, because after we deliver that second uh, bag of food, I don't think we'll really have a reason to come back here. So I'll just go ahead and grab everything while we're here. A swinging girder over here. We're playing Donkey Kong. Except the girders in that game are uh, red, not blue. But hey, there's red bricks. That got, that's got to count for something, right? Uh, barely made it. Climb up here. And can we make it? Can we make it? Yes, barely. Oh, there were some over here. I didn't think there was uh, going to be a girder right there. Let's try and get on top of this wrecking ball. Because over here, obviously there were some doubloons on top of it, but over here we have some more doubloons and possibly something else over here. Just pants? Just pants. Well, I'll take it. That's a cement mixer. Now, oh man, there was an area up there. Well, while we're uh, going around, I'll deliver the second b batch of food to the other foreman. Yeah, so it didn't matter which one you delivered it to. In fact, I think I usually start with... Um... Ah, ah, gosh. And I spilled the food. I think I usually start with uh, the one that we're about to go to, just because he's the farther away one. I don't know. Also, Mr. Krabs was totally okay with us uh, just giving Patrick food, assumingly for free. Talk about out of character. He's also okay with us spilling food. You think you would uh, penalize SpongeBob for that in some manner? Oh, I gotta bring the jellyfish costume up here. So we got another $10 tip. Also, that is a... Uh, I thought that was like a light or something, but no, it's like a hot red iron. I'm not sure what that is, but whatever it is, it's burning hot red. Come on, first person. There is some stuff up there, so I don't know how I'm going to get over there. Uh, I'll go change back into my fishing gear, and then I'll see you uh, back over there when we catch both of these jellyfish right here. Okay, so before I forget, we're going to grab those coins over here from that sinking log. What's our to-do list for this area? Shoot the bolts to cross the chasm? To the top of the high-rise, check the high-rise plumbing, complete all food deliveries, help Sandy clean up the trash, catch 10 jellyfish in downtown, and of course find the Dutchman's treasure. So, we'll go catch that jellyfish. Did I bring the- yeah, I brought the food up here. And we have $25. Let's nab you. Nice. Can I make it to that second? Girder. No. Oh, oh, gosh. I don't know how I floated upwards there, but I'll certainly take it. Got an nab you when you come around. Never mind. Got, 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 no, no. Gotcha. There we go. 
So, it's a little surprising that we've only collected six so far. Uh, now that we've got the deliveries done, obviously we go back to Mr. Krabs to see what he has playing next. No, that's not what I meant. I'll change back into... Wrong button again. Change back into Mermaid Man. And, uh, because he might have a slightly better air time than the others. I'm not quite sure. He might have a higher jump. I really don't know. For some reason, I feel like I can control his better. Maybe it's because SpongeBob's model doesn't really move all that much from his regular standing animation, and I feel like I can just, I don't know, control figure out my position in the space better. Okay, so that's how you get to these girders over here. Come over here. Uh, no, it looks like we'll have to go around the other way. So that one worker was, he was pretty much the only real enemy we had in this area. And we murdered him. And unfortunately, I didn't get to show off the uh, water balls. Like I said, they're quite effective for uh, defeating an enemy. When you're, when next we go into that uh, downtown, well, that's not good enough. The residential area, I should say. The next time, no. Oh my. So that's the sound that happens when you game over, either when you fall into a pit or. Um, or lose um, all five of your hits. It's quite... Maybe that's another reason that I was scared of this game. Because it's kind of daunting, I guess. Uh, let's see. Is there a good way? There's a dollar floating up there. Now, how do we get up there? That's a good question. Is that a dollar that we collect? Yeah. Do we... No, we don't use the net or anything. That's really weird. And I don't think we climb on top of that. We'll uh, try this again. There we go. Okay, so that's how you do it. And that's how we grab that dollar right there. So we got a single dollar. No, no. Uh, no, no, no! What is that? Why were they sinking? Yes, yeah, so SpongeBob still does a roll in uh, this form. He does look kind of funny with his uh, the smirk on his face. Uh, if you try to move the camera in this mode, apparently. It'll just sometimes decide to stop working if you move it too far because for some reason it keeps on starting and stopping on its own I don't know what's controlling it. Maybe it's just because I'm trying to have SpongeBob move at uh, relatively awkward angles, but we'll see Yeah, that's quicker to just If I do that just fall into the pit and come back no matter how daunting that sound is there we go. Okay, so now we jump on top of this one. Oh, there's another worker. For me to test out these water balls on. If Spongebob will aim. I said if Spongebob will aim. There we go. Hit him in the face. Go over his shoulder. Hit him in the face again and kill him. So now that we got that down. And we grabbed a pee. So with that out of the way, I think we're all wrapped up with this area. I'm a little surprised with how accurate those hitboxes were right there. I would have expected the hitboxes to be larger for convenience's sake. So yeah, SpongeBob has a different roll animation here with that net on the side. Just kind of interesting to note. There is quite a fair amount of detail put into this game, even if it was rushed. So we'll change back into the standard SpongeBob attire. And we'll see what Mr. Krabs has to say, and then we'll wrap up the episode. Another bag of delicious Krabby Patties served up hot. Who wants a slice of this cakewalk now? This delivery won't be easy at all. Three different parties called from the high-rise apartments. 
So now we go to the high-rise apartments. And uh, I'll show you where they are. I'm pretty sure I know where they are. Again, Mr. Krabs just leaves the cart behind because apparently he'll have a new one at that location. Yeah, over here. This is the way to the high-rise apartments. But we'll be doing that next time. I'm Mifrim's Vanguard, and thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.